Hi, everyone. Ron Kreider reporting for duty. As they say, better late than never. They also say, better never late. No, I'm not AWOL. I just didn't get the numbers. The numbers didn't come in. And this isn't like the dog ate the homework or anything like that. And then I got an email from uh, Ann Halley. It was kind of worried about what happened to me, like I might have fallen off the edge of the earth. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I appreciate that. These numbers, I get them from a very reliable source, as you can see. I get them from the AO meter, and uh, for some reason, they were exceptionally late, and usually they're early, if anything. So I profusely apologize, but nope, you're not going to get away that easily. I'm still here, and I'm not going anywhere. So it's uh, Wednesday, August the 5th, day 142, my stay safe at home day. I really don't have any news to report today. I don't even have a weather report for you because I was thinking maybe I'm not going to get these things. I have to give you a shout out no matter what. I'm going to do the same shout out as I did the other day, James and Heather and Barbie and and uh, Kevin out in Houston and Ann Halley. Oh, thank you so much again, Ann. Uh, Daniel up in New York, as always, Daniel up in New York and New Jersey. Uh, I'm sure you guys are kind of wondering, well, I, I guess the guys ditched us. Not so. I have not ditched anybody. But I am going to make, continue to say, don't be a covid please. Don't be a covid uh, The numbers aren't that great today, but they're a little bit better than they were yesterday. Uh, I kind of don't know exactly what they are. I threw them together so quickly. So let's just jump quickly into the numbers so I can get this posted and move on and have a little dinner this evening. So thank you so much for watching, and I do appreciate it. Sorry for the delay. I, again, it was out of my control. I, I can't just make up these numbers. I, a lot of people think I do, but I can't do that. So let's uh, do back in a flash. I'm going to go do the numbers now, all right? Alrighty, folks, back in a flash. Here I am. You haven't gotten rid of me yet. Let's take a look at the numbers for the entire state of Florida now. Okay, the total deaths for the entire state of Florida for the past 24 hours is 226. 226 for the past 24 hours. New cases, new positive cases in the past 24 hours, 5,409. Well, we're not in the 10,000s anymore, so that's good. 226 is a big number that we don't like being in the 200s at all, but it isn't the worst day we've had. So there you go. That's the entire state of Florida. Let's take a look at uh, Miami-Dade County. 51 new deaths reported in the past 24 hours, 1,190 new positive cases. Up in Broward County in Fort Lauderdale, 18 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 401 new positive cases. In Palm Beach County, here we are in Palm Beach County on line 130, 21 new deaths to report, 354 new positives. Let's go up to Orange County. That's Orlando. We're keeping our eye on it. They're not doing too badly up there. Uh, nine new deaths to report up there and 285 new positives. Brevard seems to be doing reasonably well, although they had a fair number of deaths here. Nine in Brevard County, that would be Melbourne, and 41 new positives. St. Lucie County is Fort Pierce, 11 new deaths to report, and 67 new positives. Then in Martin County, that's Stewart, four new deaths to report, and 31 new positives. Here in Indian River County, that's Vero Beach, that's us. We have no new deaths to report. That's very good. And 16 new positives. Now let me just scroll down here a little bit here, folks, so I can get where I need to be here. Okay, 32960, zip code 32960. That's over on the other side of the uh, Intracoastal Waterway. On the west side of the Intracoastal Waterway, one new positive. And 32963 over here on the Barrier Island, zero no new positives to report today. All righty, folks, let's go take a look at the big global scene now. Hang on. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the global view now. U.S. cases, 4,804,822 total U.S. cases. Closing in on 5 million U.S. cases here pretty quickly. USA deaths, 157,556. Look at those numbers there, closing in on 160 there for the USA deaths. And then the global cases, 18,635,877, and the global deaths, 703,127. So that's it, folks, for today for the numbers. 
Again, I profusely apologize for being so late. Good reason. Like I say, I didn't have the numbers to work with, so I couldn't do too much about that. Nothing to positive to report. I had plenty of other things to keep me busy while I was doing this. So I will just sort of end today by saying, uh, don't be uh, a part of the problem, folks. Be a part of the solution. I say that every day, and I want you to continue to try to do that. Remember, social distance, wear the mask. The pandemic is not over. That we have it. We don't have a vaccine. You know all the stuff. But you just got to do it. You have to do it. We got to get these numbers down. This is. We just don't want to keep this going forever and ever and ever. And the only way we're going to be able to get it down. One way we we can begin to mitigate it is if you do social distance and you do wear the masks. But we also need to come up with vaccines and so forth. So uh, I don't know. All I can tell you is I bring the numbers to you and I try to give you some good advice. The only good advice I can think of today, though, is uh, just do the right thing. And uh, I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. And hopefully I can be back here on time with the numbers on time. Have a really great evening. Have a blessed Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you back here on Thursday.